about uh, the issues of life, especially when I talk about uh, issues of relationship. And I talk about relationship, we're also talking about uh, marriage or family, the state of relationship. Because in family, there's no family that can work without a relationship. Even brotherhood or sister, you must have a relationship that makes you move or to make everything work. So I'll be talking about something that's making people today, people are suffering in a relationship, let's talk of uh, marriage and so forth. Uh, I want to just to share some things to know, like, uh, why should you commit suicide or waste your life for someone that you are never born with? Somebody that we just met recently when you are old enough, mature enough to make your own decision. And now that person is making you die from your suicide at the expense of your family. Because at the end of the day, when you die, that man will continue with his life. And you, your family is going to lose you. Can you feel that vacuum? You can feel that vacuum. So why waste your life? Because of somebody that you met who was mature enough. It's comes a time when you have to be mature enough to be able to know what we pursue and what not. What we should fight for and what not fight for. Be mature enough. Make your own decision. Live your life. When you see that something you cannot fight for, let it be. We are all grown up and we all have our own character. So I'll talk about something that makes you people today keep on dying and keep on doing everything. Please, if you find that you cannot comprehend it, why don't you walk away or move away? It's not a must. And I always like saying this, uh, I like using this term, uh, but I don't make it in so I always say and tell my friends that uh, the person you're fighting for, when you're dead, the moment you're in a casket there, Another man will come and tell her, oh, please don't cry, I'll be, there. I'll be there for you, I'll take care of you. And you're dead, fighting for the same person. The day you die, you're dead, and somebody's taking her tomorrow to see another person. And she'll be calling that person husband. And this man will call me the same person, my wife. And you're long dead. What for? <laughs> Maturity is walking away. When you see that things are not tough, and no one is ready to change, walk away. For your safety, walk away. I would say, I'm not Jesus. I never came to die for anyone. At least he died for me. I appreciate that. But I'm not ready to die for anyone. Simple. So, maturity is walking away for things that you feel you, are not, you have no capacity and you have no... Because if someone is not willing to see the mistakes, no matter how much you correct them, they will never change. They will always see that they are right. So if you find yourself in some situation, please, for your safety, walk away. Go live your life. It's never a big deal to start afresh. In fact, it's a high chance, it's another chance that you have been given to start afresh. And it's never long. Think about your life. Think about your future. Walk away from things that doesn't give you peace. Walk away from things that threaten your life. Walk away. Don't fight for them. There are some things that are not worth it fighting for. No. Value. If someone doesn't value you, why value them? No. Anyway, don't ask me. I'm a Christian. I'm a born again Christian. So I'm not saying for anything. I'm saying because that's the reality of life. The reality of life is that when you continue fighting for things that are not worth you, 